Right now at six, a storm alert is out across northeast Wisconsin. This is a live look outside of our tower cam and some radar right now. Snow continuing to fall as a major winter storm works its way through our neighborhoods right now. Good evening and thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Nina Sperano. We have a lot to cover for you tonight. Right now, former President Donald Trump is holding a campaign rally in downtown Green Bay. And it's the spring election here in Wisconsin. On the ballot is the presidential primary race, several local elections, and two statewide referendums. There's still time to vote. The polls close at 8 o'clock tonight. We have a team of reporters covering all angles tonight, from Green Bay to Appleton, Menasha, New London, and Door County. But if you're still planning on heading to the polls, please take your time getting there. We are following an NBC 26 storm alert. A major winter storm is coming through as we speak. Let's get right to Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Cameron, there is a whiteout conditions out there right now. That's right, Nina. We have been looking at some very heavy snow falling at times across northeast Wisconsin over the past couple of hours. A winter storm warning is up for the entire viewing area for tonight into tomorrow morning, except Sheboygan County, where we have a winter weather advisory. The visibility in Appleton right now between a quarter of a mile and about a sixteenth of a mile with heavy snow in Green Bay. It's more of the same. The snow has really started to pile up within the last hour or two. Many locations already receiving one to three inches of snow and the heaviest snow is still to come. The radar tonight shows pockets of heavy snow across the Fox Valley towards the lakeshore, but even heavier precipitation off to our east will work in later on this evening where the heaviest snow falls up to a foot as possible. Strong winds gusting to 50 miles per hour could produce some power outages. We could also have blowing and drifting snow, and of course that will create dangerous traveling throughout the night into tomorrow morning. When all is said and done, I think most areas are going to be between about 8 and 12 inches. All right, Cameron, thank you. Well, despite all of the snow out there tonight, former President Donald Trump is in Green Bay. Right now, he is speaking at a campaign rally at the KI Convention Center downtown. Let's listen in. But now we are a nation in decline. We are a failing nation. We are a failing nation. We are a nation that has lost its confidence, it's lost its willpower, and it's lost its strength. We are a nation that has lost its way, but we are not going to allow this horror to continue. Three years ago... Just a brief look at former President Trump's campaign rally in downtown Green Bay tonight. Our John Erickson will have a wrap-up of his visit later tonight during our 9 and 10 o'clock newscasts. Plenty of Trump supporters are on hand to show their appreciation for the former president. Carl Winter spoke with some of them. I'm Carl Winter outside the Hyatt Regency with people who braved the elements to hear the former president speak. Many of these people say they've already been to a Trump rally before, but came here from around the state to hear what he had to say. A massive line formed to get inside, stretching through the KI Center and across the Main Street Bridge. Others sold Trump merchandise. People in line said they're hopeful and confident about President Trump's chances in 2024. Somebody with that kind of fortitude, like he said, that bounces back is, is a type of guy that we need representing, I believe, for our safety here on this side. You know, we deserve to be safe here and have our needs met. It's obviously very snowy and very cold here outside the KI Center, but the spirits are high and the energy was high among the Trump supporters. I'm Carl Winter in Green Bay, sending it over now to our Perry Apostolakos. Nina, hundreds gathered just outside here to see former President Donald Trump speak at his rally, but few protesters showed up. Two men held signs on Main Street, jeered by Trump supporters. Mark Howe says he does not agree with Trump's stance on aid for Ukraine. Well, I'm guessing there'd be a whole lot more counter protesters here if the weather wasn't so awful. I hate to admit it, but I was at a Trump rally in 2016 in favor, so this is my atonement. I realized that within a year or two, I'd made a terrible mistake. Green Bay Democrats held an event earlier today, also speaking out against Trump. In Green Bay, Perry Apostolakos, NBC 26. Love the hearty Wisconsinites standing outside no matter what the weather, ski goggles and all. Thanks, guys. Well, it's also Election Day here in Wisconsin on the ballot tonight, including the race for president, two statewide referendums and several elections in our neighborhoods. Here's Noah Cornelius on the race for Menasha mayor. 
Nina, a closely contested race here in Menasha, a young professional in his first bid for mayor and a Menasha lifer who's been on the council for 11 years. Austin Hammond is just 26, but has been in local government since 2022, serving as Menasha's 4th district representative. Becky Nichols, as I said, 11 years on the council and a run for mayor in 2020, losing to the incumbent Don Merkis, who is not seeking re-election. Hammond edged Nichols in the primary by just three votes, but who's been turning out to vote? Poll worker Rob Conister says with the poor weather, it's been slower. We had over 500, including our absentees, we got processed this morning, and uh, probably only 100 since then or so. At 6, I'll have more on what's at stake in this race, as well as what we're learning from voters. In Menasha, Noah Cornelius, NBC 26. Thanks, Noah. I'm Margaret Cahill in New London, where two people are running for mayor today. Incumbent Mayor Mark Herter has been in office for four years. He says he plans to keep up the work he's begun, specifically with building up downtown. He's being challenged by local business owner and alderman Tim Roberts. Roberts says he's running to curb unnecessary government spending. But even snowy conditions couldn't keep away the most dedicated voters. I think it is important who's running your local community. Now to Door County, where Caitlin Holt is following a broadband referendum. In New London, I'm Margaret Cahill, NBC26. Margaret, thanks. Snow continues to fall here in Brussels and voters are still trickling in. A key issue drawing them out, a referendum to fund faster internet. Some voters told me the internet runs everything and a faster service, if not now, will eventually arrive. Others don't agree. I don't care for it. I don't think it's something that should be here. I mean, there's other companies you can go through with. We'll have updates from Brussels and other towns voting on faster internet later tonight. In Brussels, Caitlin Holt, NBC 26. Noah, Margaret, and Caitlin, thank you. Still a lot to get to tonight. We are under a storm alert with that big snowstorm coming through. Cameron has a full check of your forecast. And this nasty weather is impacting a watch party for President Biden. We're going to head out to Appleton for the latest on that, as well as a watch party for former President Trump. And with Trump visiting Green Bay today, it is the first time he's been to Wisconsin in two years. We're going to take a look at the significance of his visit and why he chose to come to Titletown. Coming up. All right, we are following an NBC 26 storm alert. We have a winter storm warning up for just about the entire viewing area for tonight. Look at that. There's a blizzard warning up in the UP for Marquette County. We've been looking at some heavy snow throughout the day across parts of northeast Wisconsin. Temperatures have been in the 30s, so there has been some melting and compressing at times. Also looking at some heavy snow in the Green Bay area as well. You can see the radar tonight is showing a large area of snow across much of northeast Wisconsin. Once again, heavy snow, strong winds, blowing and drifting snow and dangerous traveling are all possible. It looks like about 8 to 12 inches of snow will fall across most of the viewing area as we head through the nighttime hours. So once again, that's why we are looking at that winter storm warning. We had light rain that then went to some rain and sleet that then went to some sleet and snow that eventually went over to heavy snow during the afternoon and evening. And all the locations right now with visibilities around a quarter of a mile or less are currently experiencing heavy snow. And that heavy snow will continue on and off throughout the night. Not only will it be heavy as far as the visibility is concerned and the snowfall rates, but it's going to be very heavy to lift with a shovel. Temperatures will be in the 30s. Take it easy out there. The radar shows even heavier precipitation out across central Lake Michigan that's going to rotate back to the north and west throughout the night. Here's the area of low pressure that continues to strengthen as it moves north and east. It has so much energy with it. We've had thunderstorms this far north into the snow. Thundersnow reported in Madison and yes, some thundersnow reported near the Green Bay area as well. And some thunderstorm, thundersnow could still fall throughout the night into tomorrow morning with snowfall rates potentially reaching two to three inches per hour. Skycast shows heavy snow falling across the viewing area throughout the night into tomorrow tomorrow morning and then on Wednesday look for periods of light snow or flurries. Once again, most areas probably ending up with around 8 to 12 inches by the time this storm winds down tomorrow afternoon and early evening. Winds have been gusting 35 to 45 miles per hour. The anemometer right now in Green Bay is broken, but we've had gusts here 
within the Green Bay city limits between 40 and 50 miles per hour, and that will continue. The winds are actually going to strengthen here as we head deeper into the night and tomorrow morning, which means at times we could be looking at blizzard conditions when you combine the heavy snowfall rates, winds gusting 35 miles per hour stronger, and visibility less than a quarter of a mile. The all-time biggest snowstorm for April, of course, the blizzard back in 2018, but number two, three, four, five, and six on the list are certainly within reach as we head throughout the night. Having said that, there are still some questions about how much snow is going to stick. Yes, we're probably going to see around a foot of snow or more fall from the clouds, but how much of that is going to compress to what we can actually measure with a ruler? We'll have a much better idea, obviously, tomorrow morning. Tonight, heavy snow and windy. Overnight lows in the lower 30s. Tomorrow, light snow and windy. My three-degree guarantee is 35. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to the Genesis Club in Appleton, and we did that today. I forecast 38. The high temperature was 38 degrees. Maybe a little light snow left over early Thursday, then warming up with sunshine. We'll be melting that snow. 50s return on Sunday, and then unfortunately for Monday for the total solar eclipse. It looks mostly cloudy with a chance for some showers, but hopefully we can change that forecast before we get to that point. Nina? All right, Cameron, thank you. We just got word that the Donald Trump rally has ended. John Erickson is standing by live now with an update. John? Here, if you're talking to me. Waiting to stand by. Hey, John, what's going on out there? How was the rally? Well, Nina, uh, former President Trump wrapped up here about 10 minutes ago. He spoke for about an hour at a rally here at the KI Convention Center in downtown Green Bay. Some of the uh, time spent talking about immigration and the border. And it was a pretty full house here inside the uh, ballroom here at the convention center, standing room only. During part of the talk, people were extending all the way back to the room here. And really, the attention on Wisconsin, as far as the race for the presidency goes, uh, continues. President Biden set to come to Madison coming up on Monday. So two visits within the span of about seven days from former President Trump and current President Joe Biden as we count down to the election in November, about 200 days to go. Live in Green Bay, John Erickson, NBC 26. We'll be right back. Welcome back. As voters wait for the polls to close and hopefully drive safely getting there, there's some watch parties for both President Biden and former President Trump. Our Andrew Amuzu joins us now live in Appleton. And Andrew, there was supposed to be a watch party for President Biden, but it got canceled because of the weather today. Yeah, Nina, I'm at the Outagamie County Democrats building where they say the weather actually changed their plans for tonight. Originally, they had a watch party scheduled, but due to the snow, they had to cancel it. And there's going to be another watch party in Green Bay that's going to be backing Biden. And I actually just got news that some uh, polling places have lost power due to the snow. And so Kelly Fenton of Outagamie Dems says that although the snow is going to affect voter turnout, he expects Biden to still secure the nomination. We'll be at Tettletown Brewing later tonight as the results come in. In Appleton, Andrew Muzu, NBC 26. Wow, Andrew, thank you for that update. And on the other side, our Preston Stover is covering a watch party for Donald Trump. He also joins us live. And Preston, what's going on out there? Yeah, thank you, Nina. I'm back here at the 10th frame in Appleton for the Ottagami County Republican Party's watch party. Now, in tonight's primary, Donald Trump is the favorite, but a big question is how much support he has in the Republican Party. Just being here, what I can tell you is there's a lot of things up here for Donald Trump. We have not seen too much for a lot of the other candidates. And one thing I want to show you right here is there's actually a place where party goers can go and vote for who they want the VP to be. Now, keep in mind that sign does say Trump's VP for this sign here. Now, the doors here will open at 7, and events chair Don Leiser is ready to go. I just want to really uh, get us energized as a party and as a county uh, to be excited about the political process. We will fill you in on the latest from the watch party with results and opinions. Live in Appleton, Preston Stober, NBC 26. Preston, thank you. Plenty of news and weather still ahead. We'll be right back. For the first
first time in two years Donald Trump is visiting Wisconsin and for the first time to Northeast Wisconsin since 2020. Our Capitol reporter Harm Van Heisen takes a deeper look at why the former president chose to make a stop in Green Bay today. Former President Donald Trump is hosting a rally in Green Bay tonight and President Joe Biden will be here in Madison on Monday. But what do their visits mean for voters? and why choose the specific locations that they do. Visiting them in person and seeing what's really going on is, is really important. Eileen Perez is a first year pre-med student studying neurobiology at UW-Madison. Tuesday was her first time voting. I feel like being able to hear them speak publicly and even if you get the opportunity to have them answer some of your questions, I feel like that can really help people, especially like first time voters like me. In Battleground, Wisconsin, it's all about making voters feel heard and excited. Biden defeated Trump here in 2020 by less than 1% of the vote. Four years later, the margins are still razor thin. Some Wisconsinites in Madison and Milwaukee, in Green Bay, in uh, some of the more rural parts of the state may well see Donald Trump or Joe Biden more than they see some of their friends and neighbors in the fall of 2024. Mike Wagner researches the way voters and politicians communicate. He says places like Brown County where Trump won in 2020, and Dane County, where Biden received overwhelming support, will be crucial this year. Biden visited Milwaukee last month to energize voters. Trump's last visit to Wisconsin was during the 2022 midterm. Coming to Wisconsin and trying to persuade somewhere between 0.5 and 1% of the population to either show up and vote for you when they wouldn't have otherwise, or switch their vote, is really the only way uh, these candidates can uh, kind of change their fortune. Ahead of November, one thing is certain. These visits won't slow down. Republicans are set to hold their national convention in Milwaukee this summer. And President Biden has already opened dozens of campaign offices across the state. In Madison, Harm Van Heisen, NBC 26. All right, Harm, thank you. Cameron's back with one final check of your storm alert when we come right back. What a day to have a storm like this come through. Yeah. Crazy, so much going on, the Trump rally, we've got the home yeah. opener, we've got voting, we've got, I it's know. so much going on. Hopefully everybody got out and voted early, just and because the roads home are safe. going downhill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I heard there's a lot of slipping and sliding out there right now, wow. and the uh, road conditions will continue to deteriorate mm -hmm. as we head deeper into the evening. We've got the winter storm warning up. Snow will fall heavily at times throughout the evening, tonight right into tomorrow morning. Some thunder and lightning is possible. Most areas will end up with about 8 to 12 inches by the time this storm winds down. All right, Cameron, thank you. Please be careful out there, and we'll see you back here at 10.